The game's coming thick and fast for Chelsea at the moment. They find themselves bottom of Group E, going to their clash on Wednesday against Milan. Uh, we got some predictions uh, from the boys. Graham Potter, of course, getting his first win uh, the <coughs> season against Crystal Palace. Uh, myself and Mario going oh, for no, Mario. Uh, Chelsea. Oh. Good company, Mario. Oh. Joel, Shaka yeah. and Craig all going for a 1-1 draw. Mm. Uh, Mario, why do you think Chelsea can get it done? Because I think I think they will, the way he plays, you know, what the only advantage what I think for Potter is that he's not so focused on playing uh, super great football, and that's what we just talked about. What what the difference was uh, with the last game we talked, City and uh, Manchester. So I think he's more business and more structure. Milan, you understand, they in, in that movement as well. You understand, it's not like all going glory for them. So I I think that's my way of thinking that I feel like Chelsea has the chance at home. And at home, advantage is always better for the Blues than when they go somewhere else. Ne never mind, Mario. You're top of the of the graphic. Yes. Why do you think Chelsea are going to get it done? <laughs> because Craig thinks it's going to be a draw. You notice he, sh he shuffles onto the graphic. Oh, and always top. Always top. That's yeah. not my fault, is it? Importance. <laughs> Why is it going to be a draw? <laughs> Why should I tell you? Well, that's fine. Good. We haven't got time anyway to discuss that in any more Producer Mike asked me for the result. I gave him the result. Right. Move on. Right, OK. We could do exactly do oh. that. Of course, Arsenal are top of the table uh, after the weekend's results. After that 3-1 victory uh, against Spurs. Uh, one clear. Um, Jules, do you want to say anything about this game? Yeah, I thought. I, I mean, I thought Arsenal deserved the win. Of course, there's a lot of things that happened. The red card for Emerson, the, the very early goal, and the, the Lloris and Romero mistakes for, for at the start of the second half for Arsenal, which was was in their favour. But I thought with the ball and how dominant they were, and they were sorry, and how the lot of variety that they attacked with, and I, I kind of like that. I thought William Saliba was outstanding in that game, considering that was his first North London derby. He's only 21 and. That was only his eighth Premier League match in his whole career. I thought for him to put on a performance like this against Harry Kane and Hung Min Son and Richarlison was, was really good. So again, a lot of positivity. It's not perfect yet. Of course, they will, be, they will play against teams that attack more than Spurs and they will be tested more. But for a game like this, of this importance, at this stage of the season, I thought it was a very good win. You changed your mind yet? No. The red right. card? Right. No? right. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, Mario, best team in London. God, you're right. Arsenal. I tell you, he's a bossy get, isn't he? Oh no! Totally at at the moment, you know, like I expected more from Spurs. I'm going to be honest. Like when, when that game kicked off, I was like, okay, Spurs is going to really make it tough. I think um, Arsenal, where they are, um, even you know, like I we called in the, in the show before, was with the three Brazilians that didn't get picked. You know, the Gabriels and the Jesus. I think um, they really looked up for the fight. You know, they looked ready and they they you know just as a team. I think the energy was right, and I felt like there was a difference in making it. Sometimes in international football, the hardest part is when you have to restart again. And I felt like Arsenal, they looked ready, and they were ready to attack. And whatever they, they, they was coming at them, they were ready for it. We, we jumped on that team for so long and saying, like, character-wise, this-wise, yeah. or whatever-wise. And now we also have to compliment them because they turned up and they could handle everything compared to what they normally couldn't handle. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.